Now when I review Space Invaders for the Atari 2600 on my Does It Still Hold Up show, there were a lot of things I missed out when talking about the uh, Space Invaders port. There's actually quite a bit more to say, so I figured I'd just make a video talking about it. One thing I got wrong in the original review was that I claimed that you had to have the console on before holding on the re reset button and then turning it off and then back on to get the glitch to work. In uh, actuality, you just have to hold down the reset switch before turning the system on. And that's how you get the glitch to work. The main thing I neglected to talk about is that you can actually change the game mode in this version. For example, you can either have your cannon be bigger, you can have the barriers move, you can have the enemies shoot more aggressively, or you can have the enemies be invisible. This, to be fair, does give this version a bit more variety compared to the arcade version. And this might actually change the score from a 2 to a 3 because this does actually give the game a lot more variety, unlike the arcade. Anyway, that's really all I kind of have to say about this, so anyways, I'll see you guys next time.